ensure verb to make a pledge to someone to promise guarantee someone of something to assure carrier noun a person or object that carries someone or something else input noun the act or process of putting in infusion verb to put in put on afternoon noun the part of the day from noon or lunchtime until sunset evening or supper time or 6 p.m adverb more often in the plural in the afternoon interjection clipping of good afternoon commuters noun one who commutes etymology one manages verb to direct or be in charge of made noun a grub or maggot charge noun the amount of money levied for a service verb to assign a duty or a responsibility to inspiring verb to infuse into the mind to communicate to the spirit to convey as by a divine or supernatural influence to disclose preternaturally to produce in as by inspiration noun inspiration adjective providing inspiration encouraging stimulating chief noun a leader or head of a group of people organization etc verb to smoke cannabis adjective primary principle finger noun a slender jointed extremity of the human hand exclusive of the thumb verb to identify or point out also put the finger on to report to or identify for the authorities rat on rat out squeal on tattle on turn in came preposition used to indicate that the following event period or change in state occurred in the past after a time of waiting enduring or anticipation verb to move from further away to nearer to verb to have an orgasm to feel the sensation of an orgasm garage noun a building or section of a building used to store a car or cars tools and other miscellaneous items verb to store in a garage celebration noun the formal performance of a solemn rite such as christian sacrament brand noun a conflagration a flame verb to burn the flesh with a hot iron either as a marker for criminals slaves etc or to cauterize a wound distribution noun an act of distributing or state of being distributed breathed verb to draw air into inhale and expel air from exhale the lungs in order to extract oxygen and excrete waste gases formative noun grammar a language unit that has morphological function adjective of or pertaining to the formation and subsequent growth of something deceased noun a dead person adjective no longer alive dead enhancements noun improvement fired verb to set something often a building on fire adjective dismissed let go from a job aroma noun a smell especially a pleasant spicy or fragrant one movements noun physical motion between points in space creative noun a person directly involved in a creative marketing process adjective tending to create things or having the ability to create often excellently in a novel fashion or any or all of these game noun a playful or competitive activity verb to gamble adjective willing to participate file noun a collection of papers collated and archived together verb to commit official papers to some office biology noun the study of all life or living matter allergy noun a disorder of the immune system causing adverse reactions to substances allergens not harmful to most and marked by the body's production of histamines and associated with atopy anaphylaxis an asthma blood noun a member of the los angeles gang the bloods noun 
a vital liquid flowing in the bodies of many types of animals that usually conveys nutrients and oxygen. In vertebrates, it is colored red by hemoglobin, is conveyed by arteries and veins, is pumped by the heart and is usually generated in bone marrow. Verb. To cause something to be covered with blood. To bloody. Collective. Noun. A farm owned by a collection of people. Adjective. Formed by gathering or collecting. Gathered into a mass. Joined. Verb. To connect or combine into one. To put together. Assets. Noun. Something or someone of any value. Any portion of one's property or effects so considered. Noun. Any property or object of value that one possesses. Usually considered as applicable to the payment of one's debts. Lines. Noun. A path through two or more points. Compare, segment. A continuous mark. Including as made by a pen. Any path. Curved or straight. Verb. To place. Objects. Into a line. Usually used with, up. To form into a line. To align. Verb. To cover the inner surface of. Something. Originally especially with linen. Verb. Of a dog. To copulate with. To impregnate. Noun. Words spoken by the actors. Beneficiary. Noun. One who benefits or receives an advantage. Adjective. Holding some office or valuable possession. In subordination to another. Holding under a feudal or other superior. Having a dependent and secondary possession. Automatically. Adverb, in an automatic manner. Doctor. Noun. A physician. A member of the medical profession. One who is trained and licensed to heal the sick or injured. The final examination and qualification may award a doctor degree in which case the post-nominal. Letters are D.O. D.P.M. M.D. D.M.D. D.D.S. Cheating. Verb. To violate rules in order to gain advantage from a situation. Noun. An act of deception. Fraud. Trickery. Imposture. Imposition or infidelity. Adjective. Unsporting or underhand. Gaps. Noun. An opening in anything made by breaking or parting. Verb. To notch. As a sword or knife. Noun. An elected head of a gawag in Bhutan. Collaboration. Noun. The act of collaborating. Checks. Noun. A situation in which the king is directly threatened by an opposing piece. Verb. To inspect. To examine. Noun. Usually pluralized. A pattern made up of a grid of squares of alternating colors. A checkered pattern. Verb. To mark with a check pattern. Invitation. Noun. The act of inviting. Solicitation. The requesting of a person's company. Exactly. Adverb. Manner. Without approximation. Precisely. Interjection. Signifies agreement or recognition. Climb. Noun. An act of climbing. Verb. To ascend. Rise. To go up. Impressive. Adjective. Making, or tending to make, a positive impression, having power to impress. Foreign. Noun. A foreign person. Particularly. Adjective. Located outside a country or place. Especially one's own. Blade. Noun. The sharp cutting edge of a knife. Chisel. Or other tool. A razor blade. Sword. Verb. To skate on rollerblades. Noun. A kind of piton used in thin cracks. Clearer. Adjective. Transparent in color. Noun. Someone who or something which clears. Dating. Verb. To note the time or place of writing or executing. To express in an instrument the time of its execution. Noun. A form of romantic courtship typically between two individuals with the aim of assessing the Others' suitability as a partner in an intimate relationship or as a spouse. Die. Verb. To stop living. To become dead. To undergo death. Come back. Verb. To return to a place. Exactly. Adverb. Manner. Without approximation. Precisely. Interjection. 
signifies agreement or recognition. Flow. Noun. A movement in people or things with a particular way in large numbers or amounts. Verb. To move as a fluid from one position to another. Lens. Noun. An object. Usually made of glass. That focuses or defocuses the light that passes through it. Verb. To film. Shoot. Invent. Verb. To design a new process or mechanism. Career. Noun. One's calling in life. A person's occupation. One's profession. Verb. To move rapidly straight ahead. Especially in an uncontrolled way. Line. Noun. A path through two or more points. Compare. Segment. A continuous mark. Including as made by a pen. Any path. Curved or straight. Verb. To place. Objects. Into a line. Usually used with. Up. To form into a line. To align. Ignored. Verb. To deliberately not listen or pay attention to. Available. Adjective. Such as one may avail oneself of. Capable of being used for the accomplishment of a purpose. Fertile. Adjective. Of land etc. Capable of growing abundant crops. Productive. Eco. Adjective. Environmentally friendly or sensitive. Floor. Noun. The interior bottom or surface of a house or building. The supporting surface of a room. Verb. To cover or furnish with a floor. Become. Verb. To arrive. Come. To a place. Foul. Adjective. Covered with, or containing unclean matter. Dirty. Guitar. Noun. A stringed musical instrument. Of European origin. Usually with a fretted fingerboard and six strings. Played with the fingers or a plectrum. Guitar pick. Verb. To play the guitar. Buy. Noun. Something which is bought. A purchase. Verb. To obtain. Something. In exchange for money or goods. Asking. Verb. To request. Information. Or an answer to a question. Noun. The act or process of posing a question or making a request. Classmates. Noun. A student who is in the same class at school. Dialect. Noun. A variety of a language that is characteristic of a particular area. Community or social group. Differing from other varieties of the same language in relatively minor ways as regards grammar. Phonology. And lexicon. Books. Noun. A collection of sheets of paper bound together to hinge at one edge. Containing printed or written material. Pictures. Etc. Verb. To reserve. Something. For future use. Grounding. Verb. To connect. An electrical conductor or device. To a ground. Noun. Fundamental knowledge or background in a field or discipline. Head. Noun. The part of the body of an animal or human which contains the brain. Mouth and main sense organs. Verb. To be in command of. See also head up. Adjective. Of. Relating to. Or intended for the head. Nightclub. Noun. A public or private establishment that is open late at night to provide entertainment. Food. Drink. Music and or dancing. Verb. To visit a nightclub. Or nightclubs. For entertainment. Looks. Noun. One's appearance or attractiveness. Hyphen. Noun. The symbol. Typically used to join two or more words to form a compound term. Or to indicate that a word has been split at the end of a line. Verb. To separate or punctuate with a hyphen. To hyphenate. Conjunction. Used to emphasize the coordinating function usually indicated by the punctuation. Establish. Verb. To make stable or firm. To confirm. Lime. Noun. Any inorganic material containing calcium. Usually calcium oxide. Quicklime. Or calcium hydroxide. Slake lime. Verb. To treat with calcium hydroxide or calcium oxide. Lime. Management. Noun. Administration. The use of limited resources combined with forecasting. Planning. Leadership and execution skills to achieve predetermined specific goals. Comfort. 
Noun. Contentment. Ease. Verb. To relieve the distress or suffering of. To provide comfort to. Knit. Noun. A knitted garment. Verb. To turn thread or yarn into a piece of fabric by forming loops that are pulled through each other. This can be done by hand with needles or by machine. Brings. Verb. Detransitive. To transport toward somebody, somewhere. Big. Noun. Someone or something that is large in stature. Verb. To praise. Recommend. Or promote. Adjective. Of great size. Large. Adverb. In a loud manner. Cannot. Noun. Something that cannot be done. Verb. Cannot. Be unable to. Greatest. Adjective. Relatively large in scale. Size. Extent. Number. I.e. having many parts or members. Or duration. I.e. relatively long. Very big. Delegate. Noun. A person authorized to act as representative for another. A deputy. Verb. To authorize someone to be a delegate. Headed. Adjective. Of a sheet of paper. Having the sender's name, address, etc. pre-printed at the top. Accounts. Noun. A registry of pecuniary transactions. A written or printed statement of business dealings or debts and credits. And also of other things subjected to a reckoning or review. Verb. To provide explanation. Campus. Noun. The grounds or property of a school. College. University. Business. Church. Or hospital. Often understood to include buildings and other structures. Verb. To confine to campus as a punishment. Breathtaking. Adjective. Stunningly beautiful. Amazing. Absolutely. Adverb. In an absolute or unconditional manner. Utterly. Positively. Holy. Interjection. Yes. Certainly. Expression indicating strong agreement. Cooperation. Noun. Usually uncountable. The act of cooperating. Assigned. Verb. To designate or set apart something for some purpose. Joker. Noun. A person who makes jokes. Formatted. Verb. To create or edit the layout of a document. Adjective. That has been given a definite format. Career. Noun. One's calling in life. A person's occupation. One's profession. Verb. To move rapidly straight ahead. Especially in an uncontrolled way. Appeared. Verb. To come or be in sight. To be in view. To become visible. Art. Noun. The conscious production or arrangement of sounds. Colors. Forms. Movements. Or other elements in a manner that affects the senses and emotions. Usually specifically the production of the beautiful in a graphic or plastic medium. Lid. Noun. A thin skin membrane that covers and moves over an eye. Noun. The top or cover of a container. Verb. To put a lid on. Something. Limits. Noun. A restriction. A bound beyond which one may not go. Verb. To restrict. Not to allow to go beyond a certain bound. To set boundaries. Blue. Verb. To produce an air current. Verb. To blossom. To cause to bloom or blossom. Noun. The color of the clear sky or the deep sea. Between green and violet in the visible spectrum. And one of the primary additive colors for transmitted light. The color obtained by subtracting red and green from white light using magenta and cyan filters. Or any color resembling this. Adjective. Of the color blue. Adjective. Entertainment. Pornographic or profane. Minority. Noun. The state of being a minor. Youth. The period of a person's life prior to reaching adulthood. Adjective. Of or relating to a minority. Lambda. Noun. The eleventh letter of the classical and modern Greek alphabet. The twelfth of the old Greek alphabet. Declares. Verb. To make clear, explain, interpret. Arrest. Noun. A check. Stop. An act or instance of arresting something. Verb. To stop the motion of. A person or animal. Kettle. Noun. A vessel for boiling a liquid or cooking food. 
usually metal and equipped with a lid. Verb. Of the police. To contain demonstrators in a confined area. Language. Noun. A body of words. And set of methods of combining them. Called a grammar. Understood by a community and used as a form of communication. Verb. To communicate by language. To express in language. Exported. Verb. To carry away. Nick. Noun. A small cut in a surface. Verb. To make a nick or notch in. To cut or scratch in a minor way. Experiments. Noun. A test under controlled conditions made to either demonstrate a known truth. Examine the validity of a hypothesis. Or determine the efficacy of something previously untried. Verb. To conduct an experiment. Bargain. Noun. An agreement between parties concerning the sale of property. Or a contract by which one party binds himself to transfer the right to some property for a consideration. And the other party binds himself to receive the property and pay the consideration. Verb. To make a bargain. To make a deal or contract for the exchange of property or services. To negotiate. Ish. Noun. Operations. An individual item. The least quantitative unit in a grouping. Adverb. For one. A piece. Per. Pronoun. Everyone. Everything. Decrease. Noun. An amount by which a quantity is decreased. Verb. Of a quantity. To become smaller. Folding. Verb. To bend. Any thin material. Such as paper. Over so that it comes in contact with itself. Verb. To confine animals in a fold. Noun. The action of folding. A fold. Adjective. Designed to fold. As a folding bed. A folding bicycle. A folding chair. Etc. Anesthesia. Noun. An artificial method of preventing sensation. Used to eliminate pain without causing loss of vital functions. By the administration of one or more agents which block pain impulses before transmitted to the brain. Comprehensive. Noun. A comprehensive school. Adjective. Broadly or completely covering. Including a large proportion of something. Cut out. Verb. To refrain from. Doing something. Using something etc. To stop. Cease. Doing something. Adjective. Well suited. Appropriate. Fit for a particular activity or purpose. Insist. Verb. With on or upon or that plus ordinary verb form. To hold up a claim emphatically. Anesthetist. Noun. One who gives an anesthetic. Logic. Noun. A method of human thought that involves thinking in a linear. Step-by-step -step manner about how a problem can be solved. Logic is the basis of many principles including the scientific method. Verb. To engage in excessive or inappropriate application of logic. Adjective. Logical. Beginners. Noun. Someone who is just starting at something, or has only recently started. Contracts. Noun. An agreement between two or more parties. To perform a specific job or work order. Often temporary or of fixed duration and usually governed by a written agreement. Verb. To draw together or nearer. To shorten. Narrow. Or lessen. Forester. Noun. A person who practices forestry. Abuse. Noun. Improper treatment or usage. Application to a wrong or bad purpose. An unjust. Corrupt or wrongful practice or custom. Adjustment. Noun. The action of adjusting something. Adaptation. Noun. The process of adapting something or becoming adapted to a situation. Adjustment. Modification. Breaths. Noun. The act or process of breathing. More. Adverb. To a greater degree or extent. Pronoun. A greater number or quantity. Of something. Flour. Noun. Powder obtained by grinding or milling cereal grains. Especially wheat. Or other foodstuffs such as soybeans and potatoes. And used to bake bread. Cakes. And pastry. Verb. To apply flour to something. To cover with flour. Noun. A colorful. 
conspicuous structure associated with angiosperms, frequently scented and attracting various insects, and which may or may not be used for sexual reproduction. Noun. Something that flows, such as a river. Man. Noun. An adult male human. Interjection. Used to place emphasis upon something or someone. Sometimes. But not always. When actually addressing a man. Breaker. Noun. Something that breaks. Noun. One who works in shipbreaking. 5. Noun. The digit. Figure 5. Numeral. A numerical value equal to 5. The number following 4 and preceding 6. Itinerary. Noun. A written schedule of activities for a vacation or road trip. Adjective. Itinerant. Traveling from place to place. Done on a journey. Curl. Noun. A piece or lock of curling hair. A ringlet. Verb. To cause to move in a curve. Flawless. Adjective. Without flaws, defects, or shortcomings. Perfect. Appropriate. Verb. To make suitable. To suit. Adjective. Suitable or fit. Proper. I. Noun. The name of the Latin script letter I. Counterexample. Noun. An exception to a proposed general rule. A specific instance of the falsity of a universally quantified statement. Dietary. Noun. A regulated diet. Adjective. Of. Or relating to diet. Fortnight. Noun. A period of two weeks. Myth. Noun. A traditional story which embodies a belief regarding some fact or phenomenon of experience. And in which often the forces of nature and of the soul are personified. A sacred narrative regarding a god. A hero. The origin of the world or of a people. Etc. Efficient. Noun. A cause. Something that causes an effect. Adjective. Making good. Thorough. Our careful use of resources. Not consuming extra. Especially. Making good use of time or energy. Colleague. Noun. A fellow member of a profession. Staff. Academic faculty or other organization. An associate. Verb. To unite or associate with another or with others. Gynecologist. Noun. A physician specializing in diseases of the female reproductive system. Accuse. Noun. Accusation. Verb. To find fault with. Blame. Censure. Adrenaline. Noun. Epinephrine. The hormone and neurotransmitter. Glad. Verb. To make glad. Adjective. Pleased. Happy. Gratified. Come down with. Verb. To contract or get. An illness. To show symptoms of. Clears. Verb. To remove obstructions, impediments or other unwanted items from. Noun. A relatively strong, coarse flour that has only been sifted once. Furniture. Noun. Large movable item. S. Usually in a room. Which enhance. S. The room's characteristics. Functionally or decoratively. Min. Noun. A unit of time equal to 60 seconds, 1 60th of an hour. Company. Noun. A team. A group of people who work together professionally. Verb. To accompany. Keep company with. Identification. Noun. The act of identifying, or proving to be the same. Cancelled. Verb. To cross out something with lines etc. Adjective. No longer planned or scheduled. Foul. Adjective. Covered with, or containing unclean matter. Dirty. Found. Verb. To encounter or discover by accident. To happen upon. Noun. Food and lodging. Board. Near. Noun. The left side of a horse or of a team of horses pulling a carriage etc. Verb. To come closer to. To approach. Adjective. Physically close. Adverb. Edder towards a position close in space or time. Preposition. Physically close to. In close proximity to. Customers. Noun. A patron. A client. One who purchases or receives a product or service from a business or merchant. Or intends to do so.
gestures, noun, a motion of the limbs or body, especially one made to emphasize speech, verb, to make a gesture or gestures, collaboration, noun, the act of collaborating, elected, verb, to choose or make a decision, to do something, noun, one who is elected, appears, verb, to come or be in sight, to be in view, to become visible, heartburn, noun, a burning pain in the chest that is caused by stomach acid entering the gullet, eyeshadow, noun, makeup that is applied to the eyelids and below the eyes to give a darker complexion there, kidnapping, verb, to seize and detain a person unlawfully, sometimes for ransom, noun, the crime of taking a person against their will, sometimes for ransom, documentation, noun, something transposed from a thought to a document, the written account of an idea, lady, noun, an aristocratic title for a woman, the wife of a lord and or a woman who holds the position in her own right, a title for a peeress, the wife of a peer or knight, and the daughters and daughters-in-law of certain peers, noun, the mistress of a household, instruments, noun, a device used to produce music, verb, to apply measuring devices, barked, verb, to make a short, loud, explosive noise with the vocal organs, set of animals, especially dogs, verb, to strip the bark from, to peel, adjective, in combination, having the specified kind of bark, evaluation, noun, an assessment, such as an annual personnel performance review used as the basis for a salary increase or bonus, or a summary of a particular situation, introverted, adjective, turned or thrust inward, particularly, despite, noun, disdain, contemptuous feelings, hatred, verb, to vex, to annoy, to offend contemptuously, preposition, in spite of, notwithstanding, regardless of, factory, noun, a trading establishment, especially set up by merchants working in a foreign country, adjective, of a configuration, part, etc., having come from the factory in the state it is currently in, original, stock, emergencies, noun, a situation which poses an immediate risk and which requires urgent attention, above, noun, heaven, adjective, of heaven, heavenly, adverb, directly overhead, vertically on top of, preposition, physically over, on top of, worn on top of, set of clothing, limit, noun, a restriction, a bound beyond which one may not go, adjective, being a fixed limit game, bury, noun, a burrow, verb, to ritualistically enter in a grave or tomb, fourth, noun, not used in the plural, the person or thing in the fourth position, adjective, the ordinal form of the number four, choir, noun, singing group, group of people who sing together, company of people who are trained to sing together, verb, to sing in concert, becoming, verb, to arrive, come, to a place, noun, the act or process by which something becomes, adjective, pleasingly suitable, fit, congruous, beautiful, example, noun, something that is representative of all such things in a group, verb, to be illustrated or exemplified, by, groups, noun, a number of things or persons being in some relation to one another, verb, to put together to form a group, bad, noun, error, mistake, adjective, unfavorable, negative, not good, adverb, badly, improvements, noun, the act of improving, advancement or growth, a bettering, botanist, noun, a person engaged in botany, the scientific study of plants, hearing, verb, stative, to perceive sounds through the ear, noun, the sense used to perceive sound, adjective, able to hear, b, noun, a flying insect, 
of the clade Anthophila within the Hymenopteran superfamily Apoidea. License. Noun. A legal document giving official permission to do something. A permit. Verb. To give a formal. Usually written. Authorization. Fall to. Verb. To enter into or begin an activity. Especially with enthusiasm or commitment and especially in regard to the activities of eating or drinking. Confirmation. Noun. An official indicator that things will happen as planned. N. Noun. North. Hero. Noun. Somebody who possesses great bravery and carries out extraordinary or noble deeds. Grow. Verb. To become larger, to increase in magnitude. Help. Noun. Action given to provide assistance. Aid. Emissions. Noun. Something which is emitted or sent out. Issue. Assumptions. Noun. The act of assuming, or taking to or upon oneself. The act of taking up or adopting. Indicating. Verb. To point out. To discover. To direct to a knowledge of. To show. To make known. Lecturer. Noun. A person who gives lectures, especially as a profession. Indoor. Adjective. Situated in. Or designed to be used in. Or carried on within. The interior of a building. Kept. Verb. To continue in. A course or mode of action. Not to intermit or fall from. To uphold or maintain. Ingredients. Noun. One of the substances present in a mixture, especially food. Crisis. Noun. A crucial or decisive point or situation. A turning point. 